Lately, I've received a lot of questions about how an assignment of contract works. When the question comes to me, and it's from the broker community, it is usually couched in terms of how a person can buy out a current buyer under a contract. A contract can be assigned unless the contract specifically states it cannot be assigned. But when a contract is assigned, the person to whom the contract is assigned steps in the shoes of the person from whom the contract is assigned. The second buyer, or assignee, then closes on the exact terms and conditions under that contract. Usually there is consideration for the assignment. After all, the first buyer wants to be compensated for securing the contract position and assigning it to someone else. This is common. Sometimes this fee is paid up front upon execution of the assignment, but most often the assignment fee is paid at closing. When paid at closing, the seller will learn that basically the new buyer was willing to pay more for the house and may feel a little cheated. In reality, the new buyer is paying more for the house, but the assignment fee is shown as a separate line item on the CD and not as part of the purchase price. Some lenders will not let it be considered as part of the purchase price, so the new buyer cannot finance the assignment fee in his mortgage. Some will. It is worthwhile for the new buyer to discuss this up front with their lender. Title companies have been able to consider the assignment fee as part of the purchase price and as such can issue a title policy covering purchase price plus assignment fee. When the title company treats the assignment fee as part of the purchase price, the new buyer will pay the difference in title policy costs. Remember, under an assignment of contract, the seller is only obligated to close according to the terms of the contract that was assigned. One issue with assignments of contracts has to do with agent commissions. Again, if a person takes an assignment of contract, that person steps in the shoes of the buyer under the contract. The agents on the original contract are due the commission. So what happens if the person to whom the contract was assigned has their own agent? That agent could get squeezed out unless that agent has a buyer representation agreement which ensures he or she gets paid by the buyer when the seller does not pay. It is the agent's duty to discuss this with their client who wants to buy a property under an assignment of contract. Finally, please note, just because a buyer assigns their position under a contract to another person does not relieve that buyer from his or her contractual obligations to the seller under that contract. If the assignee fails to close, the original buyer may be liable to the seller. I hope this answers questions you may have as to how assignments of contract work, and we hope that you find these video podcasts of value. You know that we provide this service in hopes that we can earn your business. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.